Hello there, Jane. Earlier in the programme, it was all about money, money, money. Uh, to now, it's all about highs and lows. And because of those highs and lows, we've got a westerly wind across the UK and it's strongest in Scotland. Here we've got some sunshine. We've also got some uh, rather sharp showers as well. But further south, it's been quite cloudy and damp across much of northern England and North Wales. We've uh, had a bit of rain and drizzle. That is moving its way southwards. This is what's happened over the past few hours. There's... Now, the main story over the weekend is just this cooler air that's going to be heading our way. Temperatures will be dropping and later in the weekend, we may start to see a few more showers arriving as well. Hello, good afternoon. Well, the weather changed rather quickly earlier on this morning. It was a bright, sunny start to the day with blue skies, as you can see from our Weather Watcher photo here from Southwark. But just a couple of hours later, as illustrated by a picture from Victoria here, it was really rather cloudy. That's because there's a weather front out towards the northwest. Good evening to you. It's been a bit of a mixed day out there. We've had quite a lot of cloud across England and Wales, outbreaks of rain. Further north, we've had blustery showers. And through tonight, it looks like it'll turn drier across southern areas as that front with some patchy rain eventually clears away into the near continent. So that's Friday out of the way. The weekend is looking quite mixed as well. I think well, as we start to pick up northerly winds, it's going to start to turn cooler. And by Sunday, we could even see a few showers in the forecast as well. So I think Saturday is looking like being the driest day of the weekend. Now you can see why our area of high pressure is drifting northwards towards Iceland, allowing these northerly winds to dig down. You can see the blue hue there pushing down across the country and that will also spark off a few showers. So Saturday probably the best, uh, the driest day. In fact, South Wales could do pretty well with 20 degrees there. As we head into Sunday, it'll be cloudy and cooler for all and there will be a few scattered showers around and quite breezy as well, particularly in the north and the east. Hello, a very good evening to you. Hope you had a lovely day. A beautiful family spotted at Bushy Park. There we go. There's 11 of them in case you're wondering. And hopefully we'll see some more sunshine tomorrow for this gorgeous sleepy fox. It's looking all right out there tomorrow at the moment and still fairly mild. But it is getting, as we go through the weekend, more particularly into Sunday and Monday, cooler and cloudier with the risk of the odd shower around too. But it's a few days off. We'll let you know. So with the sunshine tomorrow, the pollen levels are higher, dropping down a bit as we go through the weekend with more cloud around. And we're looking at grass and nettle pollen at the moment. That's it for now. Have a lovely evening and I'll see you later on. Cheerio. Hi there, Victoria. Thank you very much. Good evening to you. It's a bit of a disappointing day today uh, with the regards to sunshine. There was a lot of cloud around the odd spot of drizzle. The rain did, uh, the sunshine did peak out at times, but the cloud blanket was pretty persistent. <laughs> Plus, I will bring you the full national forecast from the Clifton Suspension Bridge. Now, despite the recent unsettled weather, it's actually been an above average dry and warm spring. And Alex is in Bristol tonight with all the details. Alex. Good evening to you, Romilly. Yes, it has been a pretty uh, decent spring so far. And we'll talk about the stats in just a second. But one thing it has been today is quite a windy pitch. In fact, we've seen gusts in excess of 65 miles an hour across western parts of Scotland. But here in Bristol, it certainly has been quite windy as well. Not as strong, but certainly unseasonably windy here in Clifton with the uh, Isabar Kingdom Brunel Clifton Suspension Bridge in the background. It's covered by grey laden skies here at the moment but hopefully we should see something a little brighter as we head into tomorrow in fact i think we can probably switch to our live drone shot uh, it's going to be flying fairly low and that is actually because of the strength of the wind we weren't sure if we'd be able to put it up and show you these lovely shots but as i say uh, a calmer uh, few days does lie ahead with increasing amounts of sunshine as we head into tomorrow in particular as for our spring so far, well, it has been drier than average. We've seen 70% of our average rainfall for the UK. Uh, temperatures have been just over half a degree warmer than average, and it has been fairly sunny. The sunniest spot has been East Anglia, and you'll get more sunshine as we head into tomorrow, and as I say, calmer winds. Well, I think we'll start with a quick snapshot of the weekend, which isn't too far away, and it is looking 
fairly fine, certainly some sunny spells, a few showers around and perhaps cooler, breezier conditions out towards eastern parts as we head towards Sunday into the beginning part of next week. But if we take a look at the pressure pattern, uh, you can see high pressure is starting to build in. So the windy conditions that we had through today will start to slacken off quite a bit as we head through these small hours. So a fine Friday to look forward to and a fairly decent Saturday as well with increasing amounts of sunshine and those temperatures starting to climb back up as well. So there's your forecast. As I say, cloudy skies here at the moment, but blue skies on the way for tomorrow. Back to you, Romilly. Good news, Alex. Thanks for that. Hello there. It still looks like we're going to get some colder weather as we head through the weekend. Mind you, today across parts of Scotland, it probably didn't feel that warm. We've seen a lot of cloud around. Some sunshine, yes, but also some uh, rather sharp showers. Further south and here in the southeast of England, where it's been uh, dry and warm in the sunshine, there's been limited sunshine. And today's on the cool side, I think, as we head into the beginning of next week. The winds will be much lighter, but we've still got the mix of sunshine and some showers.